guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, we have another show review for y'all, okay? <laughs> welcome to Mary to Medicine, Los Angeles, baby. This was a mediocre first episode of Premiere, but we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. So I'm not going in any particular order. First, I'll just kind of go by each doctor and then we'll get to the good juicy, juicy part. <laughs> I did notice, um, is it two, two of the doctors not on this season? Or maybe they just one in this episode. We'll, we'll see next episode. I mean, not two of the doctors. One was a doctor one was a wife so let's just start with dr britton um anybody else think that dr britton's husband gives off asshole vibes or is it just me he just seems like an asshole like nothing she do is right anybody else no okay keep going um so they go to this boxing class together we already know from season one he is not here for la like if they could be back in what i think orlando i'm sure that's where he would want to be but she um Burton did end up getting a job in la so they're you know she they ended up finding a house it's much smaller but they have a house and they're all together in one household so as they're boxing like he's saying little slick stuff like that she doesn't do her job around the house like it's just like little leak things he was saying you know it talks about how he doesn't sleep in the bed with her that the kids have taken has taken his spot so i don't know if that stems from they're going through some things or what but if them kids are just sleeping in your bed and you kick your husband asses y'all already struggling like struggling in the romance and uh, being on the same page Baby, kick them kids out and put them in their room. I, I don't have kids and I ain't married. So, I mean, what do I know? But, you know, um, I don't think that's going to help. Let's move on to Dr. Imani. I love Dr. Imani. Baby, she is like, I have girl crush over her. She is just so beautiful to me. Like, she is fine like i don't know she is gorgeous i love her personality but um so it comes to her and her son idris they are you know cooking dinner and her husband phil isn't there and i hope they survive like i like them together from what we saw last season i actually really did like them but he um is a musician he was in band in the 90s i don't know the name of it i don't know what songs they had but um she mentions that the music industry isn't as lucrative anymore especially as for artists and so he's in oklahoma he's been there for three months and he's starting a business there and so i'm just like i don't see her moving to oklahoma leaving this but i want them to make it then they go to jasmine i don't like her they go to J jasmine she just tries too hard and she actually says it later in the episode like you know she's trying to impress impress the rest of the ladies um some of the ladies from atlanta came and she's trying to impress them she just does the most for me I don't really care for her, but you know, maybe by the end of this season, she'll grow on me. I don't know. So she has a rental v a villa. Why can I talk? She has a rental villa in Beverly Hills, I believe. Baby, that villa looks really nice. And she has, she's talking about the concierge business that she has. So like, um, you can rent cars and you can rent all of this, but it's the Bentley that people are renting the Bentley that you're driving. I would I asking for myself because they look like the same picture of the Bentley you and Shanique was riding in. 
But you know, I don't have a big niece, so let me shut up. We still ain't seen her husband. Who is her husband? What do her husband do? <laughs> We didn't really get a lot on Shanique. Shanique and her are best friends. They give me Leslie vibes. Like, they done did things or they do things. They just real or they high something. I don't know. I, I kind of like, I like Shanique. She cool. Sometimes. But what they not finna do this season is worry me about this whole comment that Dr. Imani made last season about oh this looks like a drug dealer's house they're not gonna worry with worry me this season about that like that was last season i don't think it was a big deal we don't even know who the man looked like we don't even know who this man is jasmine can go because we don't even know who her husband is for all i know he could be a drug dealer but no, I'm sick of that. Like, I don't think that Dr. Imani was calling him a drug dealer. Like, it looks like a drug dealer's house. It looked like some some stuff off of um, Scarface or something. Like, and that's what her house looks like. Show us your husband. Then maybe we won't. That wouldn't be a thing. Y'all, so here it comes. Toya, Kwai, Contessa, Contessa, and Heavenly pull up to LA. And the episode has been a real snooze fest until baby Dr. Heavenly messy ass stepped on the scene. So, um, we all know that Contessa and Britain are best friends. So there's that bridge between LA and Atlanta. I was surprised that Toya went on a trip with Contessa because, you know, through the whole Merit to Medicine Atlanta, them two was just <laughs> back and forth all season. So, Contessa calls, or Brittany, one of them call each other. So, Brittany and Contessa on the phone, and she's like, yeah, I got these new boobies. And it paints to Toya's face, and Toya's just like... <laughs> Y'all, all I could think about was that episode of Marriage Medicine in Atlanta when they were on their couple's uh, vacation and Contessa had that whole ass dramatic, oh, Toya elbowed me and my boobs and they're still sore. And she elbowed me on purpose, y'all. And I swear, Bravo is petty because they paid them cameras to Toya as Contessa was saying it. So they're staying at Jasmine's rental home. Of course, for Jasmine, this is the perfect opportunity to market, which is smart. Hey, show them a good time so that, you know, they can tell their friends to rent out the villa. Baby, my line sisters, if we come back to LA again, we'll see if we can afford it. <laughs> so somebody was like, oh, Jasmine, like this is, your house is nice. This is not my home. Like, it kind of went fast, and they didn't make a big deal out of it, but in, I think, I want to say it was Contessa, and she was like, well, it is one of your homes, and she's like, it's an investment property. Girl! Like, and then here go Heavenly, starting with her shit. <laughs> First off, she said, I thought that Jasmine was too beautiful to be smart, but she's just like me. So, Dr. Heavenly, if you're beautiful, you can't be smart. But then she talks. <laughs> and then here go Heavenly talking about uh, Jasmine is the L.A. version of what Toya want her life to be. Dr. Heavenly, don't come for Toya. I love Toya. Toya has almost become one of my, like, if not my favorite housewife or doctor's wife, like, whatever. She's up there, okay? But, Dr. Heavenly, let's talk about the salt and peppers 90s 
hairstyle that you got going, boo. I don't like that. I don't like that on you. We don't like that. I ain't like that. That was giving me my mama back in the 90s. It, it freaked me. Like, I don't like that. Comment down below if you like Dr. Heavenly's hair. <laughs> and they call Britain so that they can go to Venice Beach. And Britain's like, I'm on my way to work. Like, who planned this stuff? Shanique. And what's that girl name? And Jasmine. They're, not, they're the wives, so I guess they don't have jobs. But um, Shanique did tweet, like, I work a nine to five, unlike some of these doctors that work a few days a week. She did tweet that, like, a few, like, an hour or two ago. So I guess she told y'all. <laughs> um, but they all go to Venice, except for Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Imani. They went on a hike. So, Dr. Heavenly is <laughs> with Dr. Money on this hike, baby. And I tell you, Bravo does an amazing job with their edits. So, Dr. Heavenly, they only 50 feet, I think, in elevation. And she asked, um, you do this every day? Because, you know, Dr. Heavenly ain't with the working out. And I ain't either. Yeah, I don't like working out, baby. Surgery me up. Baby, the first chance I get. Dr. Imani did tweet, and I, I had some time to read the tweets um, before this, that she loves Dr. Heavenly, but she will not be going hiking with her ever again. And I believe it, because I know Dr. Heavenly cut the fool. Dr. Heavenly probably rolled back down that hill. Dr. Heavenly probably stopped after they caught that scene, okay? <laughs> Jasmine don't eat nothing. I'm over her. Like, everything is just like... Like, she's so L.A. Like, she's so Cali. And, like, I don't know if that's just a bad stereotype. But, sis, baby, us Southern women love to eat. We like a good meal. So, Quad is like, because she ordered a salmon. Y'all, this, this here. She orders a salmon with no seasoning. Quad is like, baby, I need a, a, a dash of salt or something. On my food, and she was that Quad was talking about how she's older, um, it still looks and you know, body is still snatched. And I'm just like, well, surgery is surgery is a real thing. Not saying that she probably wouldn't be snatched without it, but again, so they're trying to get Dr. Imani and Jasmine to become cool again. But again, they not finna worry me about this freaking comment that Dr. Imani made last season. Like, Dr. Imani apologized. If Jasmine didn't take it, then oh, the well, moving on. Like, that's not finna be the storyline this season. They have this cocktail girls night. And you know, Dr. Heavenly, baby, Dr. Heavenly made this episode. Because without Dr. Heavenly, it would have been a boring uh, AF. So, Dr. Heavenly, um, this, Dr. Kendra comes in. We get introduced to Dr. Kendra. Now, she just had a baby three months ago, or at the time, three months ago. And Dr. Heavenly is like, she ain't got nobody like Jasmine or Dr. Imani. I don't think that coming from I, I, I I'm a plus size girl. That outfit was not flattering on her, and I'd be damned if any of my friends let me get on national television looking like that. That outfit was not it, sis. So they started talking about penis sizes because it was another doctor. I think Dr. Courtney was her name. She sits that she sat down saying how she makes the JJ's beautiful. And so Dr. Heaven was like, can we do something for penises? Cause they ugly. <laughs> and um Kendra talks about her man is he's Asian. I forgot which. Like he's Asian. I forgot. Is he Korean? I don't know. He's he's something. 
Um, you comment down below if you know the correct name. But um, Doctor Heavenly was like, "Well, it's a stereo true stereotype. True, is your husband's peen small, baby? You would have thought she said he didn't have one. Like, so this went from zero to a hundred. And then my thing is, you going with Doctor Heavenly? Like Doctor Heavenly." So mouth is reckless. So meth heavenly is like, girl, if you sit your big, get your big ass away from me. Sit your big, yo, your big ass. And I'm like, Doctor Heavenly, that's she always resort to that or your mama or bitch. But I did think the girl, Doctor Kendra, did like she didn't leave a good taste in my mouth because I feel like it would just seem too much. She was like, no, she calling my husband. Okay, if it ain't, then it shouldn't matter. If it ain't, it shouldn't matter. That was not a reason for you to jump up, do all these, date and the other. Moving on. So they come back, Heavenly apologizes. Baby, Quad, of all people, that stood up to give a speech. Now, we know Quad loves, Quad can talk. Quad is probably one of them people that you be on the phone with and you be like, I got to close the refrigerator, I'll call you back. Because sis will give a speech. And Bravo has definitely shown us that. Because they they're petty. I keep telling you. That production team and edit team or whatever is petty. So Quad get up like she just running things. And, um, you know, wants Imani and Jasmine to talk. But she's making it this big deal. Then... Quad and Dr. Britton get into it because you know Dr. Britton is their like kumbaya person like she always gets them back together and Quad is there like y'all having all these side conversations and I'm trying to get down to it and everybody just like Quad shut the hell up shut the hell up and that was that was it we didn't really get anything about Shanique I think I did mention it earlier like we didn't get anything to catch us up on her catch us up with her but yeah this was the season premiere of married to medicine la season two episode one comment down below if i missed anything again this wasn't a great premiere i think if the atlanta women wasn't on it it would have been super boring but that dr heavenly y'all Dr. Heavenly is funny as hell. <laughs> like, she growing on me. I didn't really ever like Dr. Heavenly, but you got it. Like, nobody can deny that that lady is funny. So, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share any other shows that you would like me to review. Somebody did mention Little Fires Everywhere, I believe, but I feel like that's already on, and I think I'm behind. I am going to watch it, but it has to be shows like, or movies that kind of just came out or yeah they would have to have just came out or like a new season because I, I i haven't watched those fires ever i am gonna watch it though because i have heard a lot of good things oh make sure you catch my insecure review either it's gonna be a before this or after this but make sure you stick around for it thank y'all for watching